Bottling the kombucha. How long has that been in there, Robin? Ann? Days. Ready to be bottled up, huh? Yep. What you putting in there? Grape juice. This is gonna be the grape. Grape flavored. This is my go-to. I have grape every week. Every time I do it, yep. I have grape. And then sometimes I add another flavor. We'll have um, mango. I'll try that mango this time. Mango. You turn that off? Yep. This is the fruit, this. Yep. Simmering on the stove. Stir. She's fizzing. Yes, she is. Look at it. It's about to come out the top. When I first started, I was so intimidated by this stuff. Now it's just like second nature. Separate or something, just get the <clears throat> kind of thick. Mm -hmm. You see that lighter layer on top? Mm -hmm. That's the one it, it made just this okay. past week. Wow. I keep making them as you do it. People probably think it don't look good, like <laughs> but it's good for you. It don't look good, but it is good. <laughs> Tell them what you got right here simmering, Robin Ann. It's like a mango mix. It's got um, pineapples, mango, coconut, uh, blueberries. I think it might have oranges. It's just like a mango fruit flavor. Put it in there with a little bit of sugar and um, let it go for like 30 minutes or whatever. And then I'm gonna macerate it with my stick blender. And put it in there. Guess I'll put them in the dark cabinet. Those are my great flavors. So this syrup right here will probably, I don't know how I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to um, bottle up more jars with that mango flavor. I got you. So you take your little. This is considered my F1 brew. This is F2. Ferment one and ferment two. Mm -hmm. Ferment it for how if you. It depends on how strong you like it. I tasted it yesterday and it's about there. I don't like it too sweet, so I let it ferment enough to um to wear all the. It, it eats the sugar out of it that you put in there. Mm-hmm. And then after you get it to the strength that you want it, that's when you can flavor any flavor you want to in these second bottles. And I usually let, it depends on if I got any in the refrigerator. If I don't have any to drink that day, 
you can go ahead and drink it. Mm -hmm. But if you got enough to last, I like that. I like to let these sit in the cabinet at least four days before I pull them out and put them in the refrigerator. But I have let them go longer. I take like two out at a time and put them in the refrigerator and let the other ones keep going. Mm -hmm. Can't let them go too long or it'll. Yeah. I haven't ever had one of these bottles explode though. I've never had a bottle explode. So but far. you heard of them explode. I've heard of them. I've seen pictures of them, and it ain't it ain't pretty. I've seen so, them up on top. Of but the only thing I have had is when usually when I um, open these, I just kind of gently like swirl it around. Swirl. You don't do this. Yeah. You shake but it. Then this. sometimes it, it depends on how much carbonation, what kind of fruit or whatever you, what flavor you mingle in there. It'll make it um, more carbonated. And I have opened one and it just like foam, like a, mm -hmm. a Coca Cola or something like so that. So, what's your favorite flavor? Ginger. 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 Mm -hmm. So, the three flavors you make, I know it's great ginger and the mango. Well, it, the fruit, last time I made strawberry and. Okay. You know, fruit flavor like that. Any kind of fruit, you can buy the frozen fruit or whatever mm -hmm. in the summer. Ginger is the hard, the most, it takes more time for me to make because I have to. Um, blend it and do all that, but this is just quicker today, and I'm in a hurry. I heard that. Because I got to get to the greenhouse. Yep. And Dutch is uh, back here cheering you on. Dutch. Yeah, she's waiting on a crumb to fall. Yeah, she's waiting on a crumb to fall. All right, well, we'll get this in the cabinet. And it's dark place. Dark, cool. Some of that plain kombucha out the the um, big one and put like thin it up. So that's getting ready for your next next batch. Hopefully, that's gonna make the next five bottles. Thick. I have to turn it down some more. Chunks of fruit probably didn't grow. Well, it's not just that thick. Which it'll be fine as once it gets in there. Fine, just mm -hmm. get it. Chunk, come out there. What should we do with that extra? Yeah, I have enough for another. At least another. <clears throat> I'll 
water. I'm gonna have to let this cool off too before I put the kombucha in there. Yeah. That piece. I'm gonna go through. Fine looking stuff right there. I should use some bottles. Ready for consumption.